If you are on iOS 18, you will see a new app on your iPhone called the Passwords app. This is a wonderful new inbuilt password manager for Apple devices that works beautifully across devices, even on Windows PCs. This video is an in-depth video on what the Passwords app is, how to use the Passwords app, how to get the best out of the password manager and how to even potentially replace other paid password managers. So let's go. Before we get into the app UI itself, let me explain what the Passwords app is for those who are new to it. Passwords app is a secure place to store four things, all your online username and passwords, pass keys, verification codes and Wi-Fi passwords. Instead of remembering it or writing down all your passwords somewhere, this app is one place to store all of them. The best part is it doesn't just store your passwords. It can also autofill the login and password into any browser, app or any other place you need it. It integrates so well with all your Apple devices like iPhone, Mac, iPad. It's such a seamless experience. Stick around till the end where I show you how to import or export all your old passwords from other password managers managers into your Apple Passwords app. There are so many third-party password managers in the market today like Dashlane, OnePassword, LastPass, etc. It's nice that there is password manager from Apple directly. One thing to keep in mind, Apple already had this password saving feature called the iCloud Keychain. Passwords app is a revamp all in one place, next gen version of the iCloud Keychain. There are some major advantages of having a password manager from Apple directly while there are some improvement areas as well. Let's dive into the app itself and then we'll talk about the positives and then the issues later. Okay, now search for passwords app on your iPhone. This is the new passwords app. When you open it, you need to unlock it with your face ID. The home page is a very simple layout. It starts with a search bar on the top. Here you can search for any passwords you have already stored. This is a sample password I have stored before. Here there is the title for this password, username, password and then the website where this login will be used. If you tap on the masked password, you can see the password in the plain text. You can even copy the password from here directly with just a tap and paste it in your browser, app or anywhere else. You can edit this password using the edit button on the top. One of my favorite features of the passwords app is Apple will monitor periodically if this username password has been leaked anywhere online and if so, it will warn you of the compromised password or a security issue and you can immediately change your password for that website. That is searching for a specific password. Below the search bar is a list of six styles. The first style is just a list of all your stored passwords and secure information like username passwords, pass keys, verification codes, etc. One side note, if you have already enabled the iCloud keychain, you might already see a bunch of your passwords here ported over from the iCloud keychains. You can tap on the card to view the username password. You can swipe to delete it or even multi-select a bunch of cards to delete them in one go. At the bottom, there is a plus icon where you can also add a username password manually. Now, for an important question, what do you do with all the saved passwords? Well, if autofill is enabled on your device in settings, if you're trying to log into a specific website for which the passwords has been saved already, your iPhone will automatically prompt you to check if it can autofill the username password. If you click OK, it will autofill the details for you. So simple, right? It takes less than two seconds to log in. But what about if the password for this web page is not yet saved? Well, just manually enter the username password once. When you log in for the first time manually, the password app will ask if it can save it for you in the passwords app. If you acknowledge, all the details will be auto-saved in the passwords app. No need to manually add to the app. So easy, right? Going back to the app's main page, the next style is the passkeys. If you don't know what passkeys are, they are like the next generation of passwords. It's more secure, hard to impersonate and far easier to log in than the traditional passwords. Let me show you a quick example. If you want to log into your Gmail instead of typing in or autofilling your username password, if you have a passkey, just tap passkey login. You will get an iPhone notification where you have saved your passkeys, authentication with your face ID and that's it. It's so much easier and secure than passwords. Keep in mind, passkeys is like a physical key stored locally on your device. Passkeys across Apple devices get synced, but if you want to use it on any other device like a PC or Android phone, you will need to download and store a separate passkey for that device. I've been using passkey for my Gmail, WhatsApp and a bunch of other websites who do support passkeys and you should definitely give it a try. Okay, coming back to the passwords app. The passkey files 
list stores all the pass keys you have downloaded onto your device. Here's the list to my pass keys stored on my iPhone. But how do I add a pass key? To add or get one, you will need to visit a website that supports pass keys. In the login page, it will show you an option to get a pass key. Follow the steps and download one for your iPhone and it will automatically show up on the passwords app. Next time, when you try to log into a website or app, instead of a password, you can use your pass key and authenticate your face ID. Okay, next one on the home page, verification code. You should be familiar with the OTPs to enter into a website as a part of two-factor authentication, right? You log in with a password on a website, the website sends you an OTP through SMS and you put that number to the login again. Now, instead of the SMS or without the need to even wait for generating an OTP, your Passwords app will give you an OTP. You just need to set up the Passwords app as the Authenticator app on the website you are logging in. The website will give you the instruction to do that. Once set up, the Passwords app will show you an OTP at all times, being auto-generated every few seconds. It's the same code you might get in an SMS, but you have a one-stop place for all your authentication purposes. Next style is where it stores all your Wi-Fi passwords. It has the Wi-Fi passwords to every logged in Wi-Fi network ever. From here, you can generate a sharing QR code, change passwords so that every other Apple device gets updated. Last but not the least, security tile. This tile shows all your passwords that could be at risk. They can be compromised passwords, weak passwords, repeated passwords or any other security issues regarding your stored passwords. Please go through this once in a while and take appropriate actions to keep your passwords safe. As a family, you might want to to share some of your passwords with your family members or with your friends or with the right shared group or whatever. Using a shared group, you can share one or more of your passwords with a group of people instead of sharing them manually. You can create as many groups as you want and share a subset of passwords with each of them. It's a nifty feature that has come in very handy multiple times. Okay, that's everything about the interface on your iPhone. The iPad app is very similar as well. But if you're using the passwords app on your Mac, the general usage is mostly the same but it has a couple of tricks up its sleeves. Most importantly, the Mac Passwords app allows you to import or export all your passwords to or from other password managers. For example, if you're already using some paid password manager like 1Password and you want to move to Apple Passwords, you can simply export your passwords on the 1Password app as a CVS file, use your Mac, go to file, import passwords, choose the CVS file and voila, all your passwords from one password is imported to Apple passwords. You do the opposite by exporting all your passwords from the passwords app as well. But this is only possible on the Mac app and not using the iPhone. Once imported to the Mac, the passwords will sync to your iPhone as well. Another common question, can I use passwords app on Windows PCs like on browser etc? Surprisingly, the answer is yes. You just have to download the iCloud app to your PC and install the passwords extension on your browser. The extension will autofill the passwords for you even on your Windows PCs. How about Android? No luck there yet. So, What's my overall opinion about the Passwords app? The functionality itself is nothing new. iCloud keychains used to do a lot of the same things and Safari Autofill used to work in the same way. The big advantage is now there is a unified app interface which is incredibly helpful to add, edit or share passwords much more easily than before. Another big advantage, if you used to pay for a premium password manager app, now you are getting a lot of these functionalities for free with your iPhones. There are a few quirks though which I would like to see improved in the next software update. The Passwords app still doesn't store credit card information. Entering credit card details manually on a small screen on a phone browser is frustrating. Safari can still store credit card information but it would be nice if we can store it in the Passwords app directly. Almost all password manager can store credit card info now. Another category missing is the personal information section like autofill names, home address, zip code, phone number etc. Again, Safari can do this but if I use another browser or another app, saving it in the passwords app will be incredibly useful. I would also like to see more categorization options like folders, categories etc like how other premium password managers provide and if you are on cross-platform ecosystem like Android and PC then the experience is not ideal as usual. At least this time the PCs there is a way but still not seamless. Okay, that's everything about the Apple Passwords app. Are you already using the app? If so, let me know your experience in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, this is Anjana. Bye-bye.